Greetings from item Shri Shakti. Today we are going to learn about Lenin room operations part 2 in continuation to the previous class. What do we mean by par stock or par level? The minimum amount of linen required for smooth operations of any department is called as par stock, which cater to the needs of the making of a room or restaurant linen or banquet linen. Here in detail, we are going to learn about the linen that is to be maintained in terms of running a hassle-free operation even in the emergency situations. What is par stock or par level? The standard amount of linen that is required and the specific level that should be maintained. For smooth operations of any department even in the emergency situations. One par of linen is equal to linen that is required to make a bed making or one part of linen is equal to linen which is placed in the bathroom or in terms of restaurant linen one part of linen which is placed on the tables or in the in the form of serviettes etc the linen that is being used Today, we will become the soil linen which will be considered as one par linen which goes into the laundry and the linen which is there in the linen room for future use is the third set of par stock and the linen which is there in the pantry for usage of next day use is considered as the fourth par stock. So, ideally this is giving us a clear cut picture as to how much of Lenin is exactly sufficient for smooth operations of the department of the department even in the emergency situations. So ideally speaking, we have an in-house laundry which will help us to clear the soil linen as and when it is being sent to the laundry. So, the surveys clearly has told us that 3.5 to 4 power stock would be sufficient for maintaining smooth operations. Now, here comes overstocking or understocking. Overstocking of linen will be resulting in theft and misuse and also low productivity in the laundry. Understocking will not allow us to give the rooms on time nor set up the tables in the restaurant because one set is there on the tables and one set in the rest in the laundry which by technical glitches or the uh, failure in the machinery so the second set will not be ready so understocking will result in guest complaints because the rooms are not getting ready on time and extended laundry operation hours and also increase in the laundry cost, decreased productivity by the staff and the waiting time for the linen in front of the linen room will be more and uh, shortening of the useful, the shelf life of the linen will be totally incre uh, increased as the linen cannot rest. The linen which is being used today is again going to laundry and the same linen is being used day after tomorrow for again the fresh use. So, what is happening? The shelf life which is supposed to uh, uh, be more will automatically get decreased. Planning the linen room and uh, what are the points to be kept in mind to, may, to have an efficient linen room? First one is storage area. The linen storage area should be designed in such a way for utilization of the maximum space by incorporating with the shelves and uh, hangers facility. Similarly, the linen room also should be given a kind of space for putting the soil linen which is called a soil linen area 
which is always close to the entrance as the staff can come and put off the soil linen over there. The third one is linen exchange counter which is a kind of window which can be passed uh, with a bundle of linen through at to and fro. So the linen operator can take a bundle of uh, soil linen from the person and the person can take a bundle of fresh linen from the linen room operator which should be wide enough to pass the bundle of linen. Fourth one is uniform storage area. In the previous class I told you in some of the hotels the uniform room and the linen room are supposed to be the same. So here in case if the uniform room is in the same linen room then proper provision should always be given to hang the uniforms and the uniforms uh, which are folded are segregated as per the department wise and the uh, designation wise. This is how a uh, image of a linen room looks exactly like. We have a table and we have a trolley which is filled with soil linen which is ready to go to laundry for wash and the uh, shelves which are there are neatly labeled. The bath linen is placed separately and the bed linen is placed separately and the restaurant linen is placed separately and uh, the registers, the documents which will be done by the supervisor will be placed on the supervisor's desk. We have a printer here to maintain all kinds of documentation and submit it to the executive housekeeper. What do we mean by linen control? This is carried out in four phases. First one is routine checking of linen for appearance and hygiene standards. So as and when the boys are being issued the linen, we should always ensure that the same shine and the zeal of the fabric is maintained like that even after repeated washes. So even in the laundering process, we should ensure that the uh, hardcore chemicals are not being used which will spoil the shine of the fabric. And second point is quantity control of the daily flow of linen stock. So where is the linen going and how much of linen is coming back from the floors has to be kept under a good monitor. Third point is stock taking or physical inventory of linen. Once in 15 days or once in a month, all the GRAs and supervisors will be taking the physical stock of linen that is being used in the rooms and the linen room, laundry and the pantry and together when we total, this is called as stock taking. So that gives us a complete figure of the linen that is existing in the uh, housekeeping department. So in case if there is a discrepancy from the previous figures, pre previous month figures, that means there is a uh, kind of you know damage done by the guest uh, which is sometimes charged for whatever the damage has been done but that uh, decision will be taken by the executive housekeeper based on the profile of the guest. If he is a VIP or a regular guest who is coming to our hotel regularly then we may not be able to charge the guest and uh, it will that particular linen will be discarded uh, and it will be entered into a register either damaged or discarded register with the proper details which room number which uh, date and name of the guest and what was the problem with the uh, linen why why is it being discarded so all the details will be there so that is giving us a clear cut picture about how much of linen is being discarded in one year or six months and uh, what could be the re why uh, what was the reason of discarding so our document, documentation is very clear on in that uh, regard. The fourth point is, as I just now told you, proper documentation of linen through the master linen inventory control sheet. Now the monthly inventory record sheets put together is called as a master linen inventory sheet. So once you have a glance at this, the master linen inventory sheet is giving you the clear cut figures of the condemned linen and the uh, linen that is there in your hand. In case if there is any kind of wear and tear which has happened even by the staff while carrying the linen to the floors also can be mentioned in the master linen inventory sheet. The linen quality and lifespan. What are the points to be kept in mind while selection of fabrics? The first point is strength. The wear and tear of the fabric should be kept in mind. The warps and wefts, the horizontal and the vertical threads which are there uh, to make the fabric has to be tight so that the fabric does not tear off that easily as the expected shelf life of every 
of a linen or example bed sheet the shelf life of a bed sheet is expected to be for 6 six years in a five star hotel now laundry even in the laundry process the fabrics are expected not to be torn off so easily as we are trained enough to maintain the care and the chemicals used are not very uh, harsh third one is comfort now comfort is uh, uh, in terms of the feel of the guest and the staff who are using the uh, linen uh, uh, while doing the bed making or folding the towels or even the restaurant linen so there should be no kind of itching sensation or discomfort felt by the guest or the staff while using this linen so comfort plays a very vital role uh, while selecting the fabrics coming to the fourth point shrinkage 1% or less than 1% shrinkage is very commonly found even in our daily uh, used fabrics which is quite common especially in linens and uh, cottons but the fabric should have this kind of a quality that the fabric should not shrink for more than 1% which will uh, reduce the size of the uh, bed sheet for example next one color when we talk about color there are two things to be kept in mind uh, there are white bed sheets and white towels which is considered as the universal color which are used as bed sheets and towels uh, which are always in white color and the other color linen which is used as either curtains or restaurant linen or banquet linen should not lose its color or color fading okay we call it as color fading color fading should not happen after repeated washes uh, um, to retain its uh, zeal and appearance till the last use now pattern and texture pattern well, generally geometric patterns and a very small minor uh, floral designs are uh, chosen to be used in the either restaurants or in the, as the curtains and when it comes to texture as i told you the a uh, feel should be very comfortable and texture should be very soft flame retardancy is the capability of not catching the fire when there is a fire in any area so there is a particular chemical which is sprayed on these fabrics to ensure that these fabrics does not catch the fire in case if there is any fire in the room next coming to thermal insulation the warmth uh, given by the fabrics and also the passage of oxygen levels is called as thermal insulation discard and their reuse what do we mean by discard discard is a very familiar term that we have been using right from our childhood now very popularly known as condemned linen for this discard word discards or condemned linen are the linens that has been lost its shine or has lost its original appearance because there is a stain on the fabric or the fabric is torn or faded the color is completely faded that it cannot be used uh, uh, for the guest area he is called as discarded or condemned linen now what do we do with this these discarded or condemned linen is uh, based on the damage that has been done to the fabric we convert them into useful uh, uh, dusters or joint to bed sheets and make it into a dust sheet which can be used uh, to cover the furniture at the time of renovation or painting or you know spring cleaning uh, which the process is referred to as cutting down cutting down refers to the uh, usage of discarded material for some purpose such as bed sheets being used which can be cut into dusters and given to the gras for wiping the Uh, bathrooms or doing the dusting in the rooms thank you very much students we have completed the linen room chapter please prepare well thank you